86-year-old Harold Hart is an active retiree, but when he started feeling shortness of breath while climbing stairs and everyday activities became difficult, he suspected something wasn't right. Harold found Dr. William Abraham, a world-renowned heart failure specialist and the director of the Division of Cardiovascular Medicine at Ohio State's Ross Heart Hospital. It was a good partnership from the beginning. I've gotten some really good care from Dr. Abraham here. He's just a terrific guy and his staff are all good and helpful and uh, responsive to my needs. Heart failure means the heart can't pump enough blood to meet the body's demands. So no matter how diligent Harold was in keeping to his low-salt diet and daily medications, he still suffered setbacks and hospital stays. Harold was the perfect candidate for a new FDA-approved wireless implantable device called CardioMEMS that would take some of the guesswork out of his treatment. Dr. Abraham devoted 20 years of his career, including research studies and clinical trials on this monitor that can identify a change of pulmonary artery pressure, a sign of trouble in heart failure patients. And the goal here is to move heart failure away from crisis management, where we wait until patients become more acutely symptomatic and end up in the emergency department or the hospital, and to move that towards stability management. So if we can keep those pressures in the normal range, day in and day out, uh, we can reach the goal of keeping patients well and keeping them out of the hospital. The CardioMEMS device is the size of a large paper clip. It's easily implanted into the pulmonary artery using a catheter procedure. The device takes real-time measurements of pulmonary artery pressure. Recovery time is short, and in most instances, the patient can go home the same day. The beauty of this device is that it has no moving parts and it has no battery. So there's nothing to wear out and there's nothing to run out. In more than 600 implants that we've done nationwide prior to FDA approval, um, starting almost nine years ago, there have been no sensor failures. Once implanted, the device transmits the patient's pulmonary artery pressure data to a secure website where doctors can review the data and make medication adjustments if needed. CardioMEMS allows physicians to directly manage a patient's pulmonary artery pressures rather than managing symptoms or weight gain. Dr. Abraham was the first doctor in the United States to implant the CardioMEMS monitor in a patient after FDA approval last May. Harold has the distinction of being that first patient, and he's proud of his role in forwarding medical science. I mean, you made history. You're the I first know, person with CardioMEMS. I, I have a couple, I have a breakfast group and a lunch group, and they're sick of me telling them that I'm the first person not in United States, but in the entire world to get this device. So you feel pretty special? Yeah, I do. I do. As a physician and as a researcher, I have two opportunities to help patients. One is to help patients one patient at a time in my own clinic or in the hospital. And the other is by leading research studies such as these, which ultimately result in the approval of new drugs or new devices that can reach tens or hundreds of thousands of patients. That's important to you, isn't it? It is. It's one of the reasons why I work at The Ohio State University because of its forward thinking and its ability to provide researchers like me an environment in which we can advance medical science. Results from studies show that CardioMEMS has reduced hospital readmissions by more than 30 percent. Dr. Abraham says this represents the first major breakthrough in heart failure management in more than a decade. Harold may be the first, but the CardioMEMS monitor has the potential to help many people dealing with heart failure. For Harold, the device means living life to the fullest. And I enjoy the idea of being able to cut my own grass. And uh, a few years back, I could only take one swipe around, and I was just totally exhausted. I had to go in the house and rest. But then I began to get further care here, and uh, it strengthened my heart muscle and uh, lowered my uh, fluid retention. And by gosh, I'm back out doing my lawn again. <laughs> and uh, my neighbors worry about me because I'm 86 years old and they all know it and they're young. And uh, Mr. Hart, we'll cut your grass for you. No, this is me. It's a challenge.